Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski. I am the owner of Quality Business Plan as well as the author of Tesla Financial Report 2021 as well as the Beginner's Guide to Understanding Financial Statements and Financial Ratios which is published on Amazon.com. So the, for this video, what I would like, would like to do is introduce you all to my Tesla Financial Report for 2021. I'll show you all the you know index, the table of contents, and then also give you all a you know a flavor of, of how it's structured and such. And once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and take a sneak peek into the financial model that I've used um, when and I've, what I've used when analyzing the financial reports for Tesla, uh, specifically the financial model. I, I, I do some research on Tesla's income statements and balance sheets for the last five years. I'll plug them into my financial model and then it'll go ahead and do a multitude of calculations and it'll break out, you know, different sections on the income statement balance sheet. And it'll also give me a, you know, calculate, you know, 20 to 30 different financial ratios and then provide me with, you know, opportunities to do an analysis based on um, that breakdown. Now, the the financial report, Tesla financial report, you can purchase it on my website, and I'll show you how to do that in just a little bit. But the financial model that I'm going to introduce you all to, that is proprietary, and it is not for sale. It's just to give you all a sneak peek as to the foundation that I use to go ahead and write up this financial report. All right, so as promised, the Tesla report 2021. I um, just completed this um, earlier this morning. And in this financial report, um, it starts with a disclaimer, a little bit of a forward. And then what we do is we get into the income statement and I analyze uh, Tesla's last five years worth of revenues, cost of goods sold, SGNA, as well as research and development and so on. So we, so we take a look at each one of these line items. I introduce you what the line items mean. And then I give you a brief analysis based on Tesla's performance. And then also in the balance sheet, again, I do the, play the same game in the balance sheet. I summarize the balance sheet for Tesla for the last five years. And then I give you a line by line breakdown um, focus on the cash, short term investments, inventory, uh, property, plant and equipment. So I give you an individual analysis based on my thoughts and ideas for the um, balance sheet. As for the financial ratios, I do break those up into liquidity ratios, asset ratios, uh, other asset ratio calculations, uh, Tesla's uh, profitability ratios, debt ratios, and then I do a little bit of a summary at the end. Uh, but for each one of the um, financial ratios for Tesla, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and introduce you what that, what that ratio means. And then from that point, I'll give you the calculation of how to calculate the ratio. And then I show you the steps that I use to calculate the, the ratio. And then finally, what I do is I give you a brief analysis as to what that ratio actually means. And I do that for, I don't do that for every one of the financial ratios, but for the vast majority I do. All right, so that is my Tesla financial report um, in a nutshell. And here's the financial model that I use for um, a basis to complete that financial report for Tesla. So like you can see here from 2017 to 2021, I do summarize the revenues, cost of goods sold, SG&A and all that good stuff right here. And then we come up with the net income. Um, from that point, my financial model breaks out that information into revenues, cost of goods sold, SG&A. Also, it breaks out into some calculations for growth rates as well as for average growth rates. So the this information right here is what I'll use and I'll take a look at it and then I'll go ahead and make some an analysis and provide you all with some thoughts and ideas um, based on my experiences. The This information right here is included in my financial report, but the graphs right here are not included in the financial report. I do the same thing for the balance sheet, take Tesla 2021 balance sheet all the way back to 2017. I, I summarize their balance sheet into my financial model and then for each one of the line items or, or for most of the line items, I break it out in, for example, cash. I'll compare cash. I'll take a look at the cash position. I'll compare it to sales. And then I'll also go ahead and have some calculations as percentage of total assets. And then from this foundation right here is where I'll go ahead and make some identifications, you know, identify some trends, you know, talk about whether this is good, bad or indifferent for the organization. And then finally, in my financial report, I do get into the ratios, the wonderful financial ratios all continues to go. So for Tesla 2021, I do calculate liquidity ratios, asset utilization ratios, profitability ratios, and debt ratios for the last five years for the organization. 
I also then provide in my financial report the calculation, for example, current ratio, current assets divided by current liabilities. And then I'll give you all what the current ratios were for the last five years. And then finally, I'll give you all some thoughts and ideas as to the trends, how it's performing, and you know what investors or um, finance slash accounting or business students can expect in the future based on some of the previous trends. All right, so hopefully that information was helpful. And if y'all like what you see, you can definitely pick up my Tesla Finance Report 2021. Just go to my website, qualitybusinessplan.com forward slash finance Tesla financial statements and financial ratios analyzed. Or if you want a financial report for a different company that is not Tesla, go to qualitybusinessplan.com forward slash public company re financial reports. And on that site, I do have a wide array of financial reports, whether it be for Microsoft or Apple or Tesla or Amazon. So I, I got a lot of financial reports available for your reading and viewing pleasure. Hopefully this information was helpful. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up on YouTube. And as always, have a good day. Thank you.